Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm working on the uh, black stain strat. And let's see, at the end of the last episode, I just got the bridge on and it's all nice and adjusted and behaving itself. And now it's time to start swapping all the electronics over from the old pickup here to the new pickup. Uh, pick guard, sorry. These pots have these little positioning tabs that stick up. There's supposed to be a little hole that they go into, but this pick guard doesn't have them, so gotta cut them off so the pot will fit flash will fit flush. Just like that. Selector switch screws, machine screws. I don't know if anybody even makes these in black. Time to squirt them. Black pickup mounting screws is another thing I don't think I've ever seen. Well, these guys have the pull pieces that are three different spacings. And these guys are all the same spacing, so. 
So, alternate plan B. Well, pickup covers and the uh, pickup mounting screws are in the paint shop. So, uh, I guess while I'm waiting, I'm going to see if I can fish up uh, black pickguard screws. I did a did a build, some guitar or another, where I used black pickguard screws and got like a sack of two dozen of them. So I think I've still got some sitting around somewhere. I'll see if I can dig those up. It would sure suck to have to like paint all the pickguard screws, but I can do it if I have to. Well, no luck finding black pickguard screws, so it looks like I'm going to be using the, the original stuff and painting it black. Hardware paint shop is going into mass production. More than enough. Well, the black one of these doesn't fit, so I'm going to have to paint the stock one. Well, I was hoping this build would be pretty much just straightforward assembly, but it's turning into much more one of these uh, paint shop episodes, which in general I think I'm going to get away from filming or try to, but yeah. That's life building guitars, is, you know, half your time spent in the paint shop. And right now, the, the little details are still in the paint shop, so, so we wait. I'll be back. We are making progress, though. You saw the, uh, the selector screws, they're out. They turned out nice. And, uh... Pickup mounting screws are also out and dried. And they turned out, they turned out nice as well. So um, yeah, now I'm just waiting for the pickup covers to finish drying, and then I can go ahead and put those back in, or put them in, put them in this pick guard. There you go, recorded live action of guitar building. That's right, paint drying. Yeah, if you were to sit down and watch a video that was like live, everything, half of the video would be this. This kind of stuff, watching paint dry, watching sealer dry, Watching naphtha dry after you tested a finish. Watching water dry after you raise the grain on some wood. You know, watching glue dry when you glued something up with uh, wood glue. Watching glue dry when you glued something up with CA glue and didn't use accelerator. Watching paint dry, watching dye dry, watching stain dry. Yeah. All kinds of things have to dry when you're making guitars. So, there you go. Watch it dry. Enjoy. I think we'll skip ahead a bit. Okay, first pickup screws in. And just repeat for the other five. 
that's two screws you have to be very gentle when you're doing this so you don't scratch any of the paint okay all the pickup screws are in and the selector switch knob and we've got some knobs okay this thing should be ready to go back into the guitar or go into the guitar well got a couple issues here issue number one I forgot about the ground wire for the bridge so I'm gonna to have to take the bridge out and fish that through well put the pick I'm gonna to have to put the pick art on take the bridge off fish that wire through and then put the bridge back on and the other issue is when you go and you slide this guy under the neck the back of this center pickup doesn't quite clear this routing in order to drop down in there so this is going to have to be relieved a little bit so that's where I'm at okay I've marked out approximately where the material needs to be removed and I'm thinking quality time with the chisel here I'm here we go, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Unfortunately, this thing uses a pick guard and it's already almost a bathtub route, so if I mess up a little bit, it won't be a huge issue. Just kind of connect the dots here. I probably don't have to go that deep. I just got to get it to clear this lip, so to speak. I'm starting with a little 45 kind of bevel here. And then I'll check it. See what that does. Get my light under here. And that's 
getting it. actually need a little bit more on the far side and it needs to be more like a 60 degree slope instead of a 45 and I think that'll get it so it needs a little more here and then the whole thing needs to go a little deeper Seem to be kind of going across the grain here and it's crumbling more than anything. Well, folks wanted to see action. There you go. This is real good old-fashioned action, right?
cross your fingers. Now where it's late. Close. We're very close. It's starting to drop in. It just needs to be deeper. All right, I'm going to finish carving this out. I'll be back. Okay, I've got it clearanced here at the routings. So, those aren't an issue any longer. But here at the bridge, the fit is off by one to two millimeters. So I'm gonna have to sand this part here like one to two millimeters so that it'll tuck up underneath the neck far enough so it'll match up with the bridge like that. Okay, I used my handy dandy little block here, or sanding block, sanding tool, and I sanded it down a bit so that it fits under now and down at this end. I'm happy with that fit, so. Yeah, looks good. So, the pick guard now fits correctly, and it's got good, like, alignment around the edges everywhere, so. Looks like a pretty good fit. Um, I need to take the bridge out fish these three wires to their various places and put the pick guard in and get at least a couple screws to hold it in and then I can put the bridge and the jack on and stuff and finish putting the pick guard on. This might be a good stopping point here, so um, I'm going to pick up again with uh, doing all the rest of that stuff in the next episode. Until then, everybody, have a good one.